Hi, and welcome to Midwest 2020. I'm Dave, product manager for Cat Percussion, and today we welcome you to our, to our product showcase. Our product showcase is all about the Malcat 8.5 with GigCat 2 module. We've packed this module full of the best percussion sounds that anybody would want in the band room. We're offering you information on the most affordable, best, easy to use mallet controller on the market. You get the mallet cat, you plug it into the module, you plug it into an amplifier or a set of headphones, and you have at your fingertips all the orchestral percussion sounds you could possibly want. So please enjoy this product showcase, watch it, learn a lot about what we have to offer, and we look forward to answering any questions that you might have afterwards. Hi again, Dave with Cat Percussion. Uh, welcome to our product showcase. Today uh, we are featuring the Mallet Cat 8.5. Uh, just recently we released this new version of the Mallet Cat uh, with the GigCat 2 module, and it is without a doubt uh, the, the best we've been able to get thus far with audio technology. It's really about audio technology. It's about where MIDI had been from the 80s to where it is now. The sounds that are coming out of modules like the GigCat are so realistic that it's hard for any listening audience to really realize the difference between a real instrument and one that's now digitized or recorded. You know, sound recording and layering this, these days are done with actual recordings of actual instruments. They're turned into digital sounds and they are put into wonderful modules like our GigCat 2 here. Um, our goal in educating the audience today is to show you just how easy this instrument is to use in the band room, at home, and all around. And then also show you just a few features and benefits along with the sounds that are included into it so that you can really educate yourself a little bit more on where an instrument, an electronic instrument, a portable instrument like this might be really put to good use in your uh, various programs. So let's just start with setting it up and I'll show you how easy this is. This is everything that comes with it, with the controller, all these cables and everything you need. When, when we first addressed this and we first wanted to uh, really put this instrument out there it needed to be easy it needs to come out of the box and for any kid that ever plugged in a video game system understand how to set it up and how to get it to operate so we're gonna do that now very simply just like anything gonna need power so I'm gonna plug in my power cable for the Malcat and inside of here we do use a little bit upgraded uh, connector so that you know if somebody's kicking it on the stage or something like that it doesn't just immediately come out and you lose your power and you plug that in and then two pedals are included with the controller. One is a sustain pedal, and that's a sustain pedal that you would use uh, if you're playing vibraphones. If you want to pedal and dampen, you would be using that, and your sustain pedal goes into the first switch there. Uh, you'd also use it if you're using tubular bells and you want to you wanna sustain it, but then you want to cut it off, however you want to use it. And then this is going to be our editor function pedal, and that goes in the uh, next spot here. The editor allows you to open up the functionality of the mallet cat. Uh, there's a lot of um, different words here that tell you how you can change things from velocity curves to dampening if you want to use them. If you just want to simply change sounds, there's numbers right here that you can get through all 127 presets real quickly. So, uh, so right now, the controller's set up. It's plugged in. We've got our pedals plugged in. The controller's ready to go, but it doesn't have anybody to tell to make sounds to. So that's where the GigCat 2 comes in. So the GigCat 2, it does have USB on it. It's got all your proper outputs along with MIDI. So in the GigCat 2, when you get the package, we include a MIDI cable. This is MIDI out from the Malacat into the MIDI in on the GigCat. Always make sure you're putting it in the right spot. And then, uh, of course, like anything, we need power. So, plug the power into the into the GigCat. Make sure that it's got plenty of power, and it is awfully powerful, as you'll learn very soon. And then plug that into your power source. Just using a uh, standard power strip down here. Going to fix up my pedals. And then um, we need to send the sound somewhere. So, I mean, in this application and what we're doing here today, I've just got two cables that are coming out of my interface that I'm recording this into. Oop, there they go. I'm going to plug that right into the GigCat. So that's it. And, and this, can, this has a headphone jack, so if you want your students to just practice quietly for a little while, practice their bell parts real quiet, they can plug in their headphones, and any set of headphones will work. It has an uh, eighth-inch jack in the back. Um, 
and then uh, of course you can run this out mono into any amplifier keyboard amplifier works great PA system works great um, you know and, and it's easy enough to have a headphone jack in there and, and a line out so that if the student needs a monitor or anything like that that can definitely happen but more than likely once it's playing especially if you got a larger amplifier next to the player on the stage projecting the sound uh, they're going to be able to hear their parts really well uh, so I'm just going to turn this on and turn on the module Turn on the mallet cat. Turn the power on my power strip. There we go. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm going to grab my mallets and just show you how this goes. We got it all plugged in now. So what do we got? Ooh, timpani. Um, I guess I started there. I'm going to open up the editing function, go to the setup, and uh, go to number one, which is marimba. Great sounding marimba. So as I kind of said, the big the big hook on this new version of the Mallet Cat is what we were able to do with sound technology. We went to a college, grabbed a bunch of amazing instruments, did a recording session, combining that with other sounds that we had in the library, we put the most... Um, the most focused, uh, I guess I would say, grouping of percussion instruments into the Gig Cat 2 module. This is the listing of all the sounds in there so that you and your students can have an easy guide to understand what's going on there. Uh, just to give you an idea, marimba, vibraphone, including bowed vibe. You know, if you got somebody that doesn't know how to use a bow, it's built into here. Xylophone, glockenspiel, cretales, steel drums, timpanis. We put multiple timps in here because um, timpani has been one of the sounds that we've had the biggest challenge with. Uh, general MIDI, but we've got five different timpani in here and they sound incredible and I'll demonstrate a few of them for you. Latin percussion sounds, if you've got somebody that's doing a glockenspiel part and you also want them to flip over and play that uh, uh, temple blocks part, that's that's easily done. Drum set parts are in here, so if you're doing a pops concert, you can flip from bell parts to drum set parts. You don't have to put the whole drum set on the stage. This can act as an entire drum set. You just have to view it as like a multi-pad or a controller or something like that. Um, we've got also guitars, steel guitars, pianos, strings, trumpets, saxophones, basses, slap bass, horns, you know, harmonica, and, you know, so many other sounds in the 127 sounds that are built into this that have nothing to do with percussion, but they need to be included because it's really what makes this instrument powerful. So, um, just gonna, gonna throw you a few of the sounds so that you get an idea of what everything is. I kind of played for you, um, the vibraphone a little bit, or I'm sorry, the marimba. Good to hear the low sounds and the high sounds. Uh, I'm going to go to a vibraphone with vibrato, and that is um, channel 4. So there's a vibraphone with vibrato. I'm going to hit the foot switch so that you can hear the vibrato. The other cool thing about the 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 functionality of this is, is FSR technology and not piezo technology. So it's it's uh, a technology that uses uh, pressure as opposed to hit, if you will. So it allows you to dampen your notes using pressure. And you know, same thing goes if you're using bells or whatever. Here's here's a xylophone. Oops. Um, great xylophone. I mean, that sounds like a xylophone. Now, like I said, the timpani is probably some of the most exciting stuff. So here's our timp 2 setting. Really hard to tune those high-sounding timpanis, but when they're already tuned in the Malakat, they sound great. You'll never really have one that high, but... So there's your timpani sounds. Um, throw you one more. Here's tubular bells. A 
Now again, sustain pedals open, sustain pedals off. Sustain pedal really helps you do a lot of what you need. Um, so those are just a few of the sounds, and that's how it functions. You know, if you've got somebody on stage and they've got multiple parts, or if you're looking at a score as a band director and you really just, you don't have all these instruments, they're here. They're all included. They're all in here. So um, let me run you through the price points really quick so that you know what you're looking at. We offer this in a two octave, three octave, and four opt octave option. Two octave, $17.99 with the Good Cat. Three octave, which I'm using here, this is the Mallet Cat Pro 8.5. Uh, this is $21.99. And then the four octave Mallet Cat Grand is twenty seven ninety nine. What's great about the Grand of four octave is that you can split. You can split this into three if you want. You can split that into two, and you can have somebody playing a two octave Glockenspiel, have somebody playing a two octave timpani part, uh, you know, and and just do a lot of different functions. And they're not very difficult functions to do once you learn a little bit more of the instrument, or you assign a kid. You say, hey, watch all these videos on YouTube and figure out the rest of how this thing works. Aside from that's the sound, and this is what it's doing. Um, the price points aren't uh, aren't that bad. We sell cases for these. You can put them on any stand. I've got this on a keyboard stand, for instance. Uh, you probably have a stand that would work for your band room. Uh, everything's built into the module. It's very simple to use and very simple to plug in. Uh, I really encourage you to learn more about the instrument and if you have any questions please ask us here and I really appreciate you stopping by this product showcase the next video is going to show more of the sounds and things that you need to know about it thanks for stopping by and uh, have a great Midwest 2020